Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the international version of the Escort Redline called the Redline Pro A. Uh, this version of the Redline actually is different than the American version of the Escort Redline. Uh, it has support for some radar guns that are in use overseas that are very difficult to detect, such as the multi-radar guns. Uh, and so this one is designed for detecting guns that are in use overseas, and it's also lacking some of the filtering capabilities like TSR uh, that we need here in the States to deal with a lot of the blind spot falses. Right. So uh, in this video, I just kind of want to show you some of the differences in terms of settings and features uh, that this guy has compared to the American version of the red line. So let's go ahead and uh, power it off. Powering down. And we'll just go ahead and boot it right back up and you'll get to see the power on sequence. You'll see that this is different than the uh, American version. So cool, a couple things there. Uh, you saw that it actually said it was the Redline International and uh, it popped up some of the different uh, you know, alerts for the multi-radar guns. Uh, again, this is designed for detecting guns that are in use overseas that we don't have here in the States. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different uh, settings that are actually different here in the Pro A compared to the American one. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at all the different options under bands. X band off. K band off. Okay, so first thing you'll notice we have the option here for K band segmentation. K1 off. K2 on. K3 off. So we have three different segments available for K band. Multi radar off. Uh, next, we're going to have the options here for the two different multi radar guns the multi radar CD. And the multi radar CT. So we've got support for both of those. Strelka off. As well as the Strelka here. KA band off. Okay, cool. And then just like the American red lines, we've got support for KA band segmentation. KA1 off. off. So we've got our 10 different KA segments. Laser on. Okay, laser. And finally, RDR. Uh, also, you'll notice notably absent is TSR. X-band off. So we press it again, and rather than getting our TSR option, we go right back over to X-band. So you'll notice TSR is gone. Uh, we've got support for the uh, multi-radar guns, as well as the Strelka, which, fun fact, is Russian for arrow. And then uh, we also have K-band segmentation. So again, it's designed to function a little bit differently than the American Red Line. Uh, additionally, under sensitivity, we've got a couple new settings that the uh, American Red Line does not have. So we've got highway mode, we've got auto, which is nice for dealing with some of the K-band false alerts, and we have a couple other different auto modes. We have an auto mode that's designed to detect, uh, I believe, low-powered K-band guns only. And we also have uh, an auto mode which is designed to uh, disable any multi-radar detection. So if we've actually gone in previously and enabled multi-radar detection, we have an easier way to disable detection of those guns, which is really nice because uh, detecting these guns, because they're so difficult, the red line needs to do a lot of extra processing. And once it's having to focus on the multi-radar, uh, that extra processing means everything else, the performance drops. So like uh, from what I understand, KA band performance drops like a rock. You get pretty terrible KA uh, band performance if you have multi-radar detection turned on. So, you know, if you don't have those in use, you're definitely gonna wanna turn that off, right? And finally, we go back over to highway. So as you can see, we've got a couple different sensitivity options, and uh, when we go under bands, we've got support for uh, some of the other guns that are in use uh, overseas that we don't have here in the States, right? So uh, I just, since I have this uh, detector here on hand, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some of the differences between uh, the Pro A and the American Redline. Uh, so this is actually different than the Redline XR. The Redline XR is actually a totally normal uh, American Redline, where people just go in here and they just change a couple of different settings and they call it a Redline XR and then jack up the price and try to present it as something else, right? But it's a totally normal Escort Redline with a couple settings changed. As opposed to the Escort Redline Pro A, um, I know it's just a sticker which looks kind of 
questionable or whatever, right? I don't know why it's not a more legitimate label, but whatever. Anyways, this is the Pro A. It is different. Uh, there are obviously some software differences, and I believe there's also some hardware differences necessary uh, for the multi radar detection. So, uh, anyways, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that. Uh, I have this detector on hand at the moment because I am going to be doing some testing against the multi radar guns. Uh, those guns are actually starting to show up in Canada as well as in New York. So, I'm actually taking a trip out here in the very near future to go test out a whole bunch of detectors against these radar guns and you know see how they compare see what's usable so the stinger uh, the, some international detectors like this plus a bunch of american detectors so uh, stay tuned for that if you're not already subscribed definitely go ahead and do that so you can get notified of the updates i'll be posting them here on youtube as well as of course on rdf so uh, once that information is available i'll have the link in the video description and if you're watching on the forums or if you're a subscriber you'll see it pop up as well so awesome there you go if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, until next time, more videos to come, more testing to do, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Bye.